What's up guys, Acid Explosion here, and welcome back to Journey to Max Town Hall 9. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and catch you up on a few things. Uh, also, we're gonna be going, and we're gonna be going ahead and upgrading our Spell Factory and our Archer Queen to level 5. And, for those of you who did not know, the Archer Queen is level 4. I did upgrade her in the meantime, and now I have enough to upgrade her to level 5. So, that's gonna be awesome, because that's gonna unlock the Royal Cloak, which is gonna do an additional... 300 damage per second and 150 health recovery so that's just gonna take out buildings so quickly it's insane so um i'm just gonna go ahead and close my window real quick because there's people outside you probably didn't hear them but i'm just gonna close them so they don't hear me and think i'm crazy uh so back to the video so also I did upgrade the queen, so I upgraded the queen to level 4, I'm gonna tell you that, and also I upgraded the clan castle to level 5, so that'll be done in 5 days and 1 hour, it, do, it takes a week, um, so that's pretty crazy, also, our crossbows have finished, but I think that, I think they finished in the last episode, so maybe I'm just going crazy, cause I'm pretty sure they did, yeah, yeah, they did, so, uh, yeah, also, I guess that's about it for today. I mean, I have enough loot for everything. I've got six million loot, six or six million elixir, and one million one hundred sixty thousand gold. The only reason I don't have a ton of gold is not because I upgraded the clan castle. It's because I upgraded all of these walls to level seven because they were all level six, and it cost five million to get them all to level seven. And I didn't. I had so much gold, I didn't know what else to use it on. So I'm like, oh, I'll do it. I'm like, oh, well, screw it. So I just went ahead and upgraded these walls. Also, I'm upgrading this Archer Tower, which will be done in two and a half hours. So, after that, I gotta upgrade this Air Defense. This Air Defense is still level one, and it's really, really bothering me. Even though I have, um, I've have worked pretty hard, and I've gotten these storages up to level eight. So, they've only got three levels to go after that, which is awesome, because that way I can get them out of the way. But then I still have to work on getting that Wizard Tower up, that Air Defense up, and the Archer Tower up. Not even, not to mention the Tesla, too. Like, I'm way behind on all these new buildings. Like, the Level 1 Air Defense needs to get upgraded ASAP, because I've had it so long. It's crazy. Um, so, I think what I'll do today is I won't do any live raids. I did do what, like, I did do two raids right before this. One of, actually, no, they, they were both wins, which is awesome. Uh... Actually, no, that's not the one. Um, I will be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I am back. What happens with my game is that uh, this doesn't happen on my second account, just on my main account. So I did do these these two raids up on the top. I did do those two raids. I think I might show you this raid as well, because as you can see, I got a, I got a pretty good amount of loot in that raid. Uh, this raid, I did get 1,200 Dark Elixir, because I was Dark Elixir farming last night, and I was not getting a whole ton. As you can see, all these raids, like, that are even in my attack log, I've got hardly any, because I was failing terribly, so we're going to look aside. But I did just get two raids within the last half an hour that uh, had 1,000 Dark Elixir each, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you those real fast. Let's go ahead and start with uh, this one. This one was a two star, surprisingly, uh, but I did actually get the dark elixir. But I barely got the dark elixir. Like these are the fails that I've been having that I uh, had last night, and I didn't have the arch queen. So in this raid, the arch queen actually saved the day, which is crazy. I know. Uh, uh so I almost did not get the dark elixir thanks to the arch queen. The giants did something a little stupid because I did send them in. And, um, I, I, I busted open the compartment by the town hall, and I sent them in, but they still went for the arch tower. I'm like, what are you doing? There's cannon, there's a cannon right there, why are you not breaking it? Okay, so here's where it goes wrong. So I broke open the wall, I sent in some barbs to clear out the outside buildings, first of all. And then, I sent in the giants. So, about, let's see, I think I took out that gold mine first, and then I put in the giants. Let's speed this up. It's a little bit slow. Um, yeah, I took out this gold mine, and then I sent in the giants. See, look, I sent in the giants, and they still went for the arch tower. So, I had to stop a little bit, and I still had to reposition them to move them over to, um, the, to the cannon, to get to the cannon. I, I'm not... I'm not ready for commentary, guys. I don't know why. I'm just not. 
So let's go ahead and keep this raid sped up two times fast. Uh, right there, I'm like, all right, I've got so many troops. I just dropped a raid spell, and yet they all died from that wizard tower and the barb king. So what they did was they got distracted. Uh, the barb king, or they got distracted by the barb king, and then the wizard tower just took them out in the meantime. So that's what happened. Uh, if it wasn't for those few archers and the archer queen, I actually sent in. She went right for the Dark Elixir. She was actually able to snipe me some gold as well. So, if you wait till a little bit more in the raid here. Oh, boy. Uh, never mind. So, she snipes down that. She takes out that Dark Elixir drill. And yet, there's still 93 left. But she does take out the Gold Sword. She does die, but I just... I got... You know, I let her get as much as she possibly could. So, that's what I did there. And then, in this next one... Uh, in this next one, I want to show you, I'll show you this one where I got another 1100 Dark Elixir, and then I'll show you the one with the whole bunch of other loot. So again, I'm going to speed this up two times. What I did was, I put archers over there, because originally I was going to come from that side, and then throughout the raid a little bit more, I thought, oh, you know what, why don't I just come in from the corner, because that's closer, you know, this corner down there by the wizard tower and the archer tower. Uh, yeah, so then a dragon comes out, I'm like, Oh man, what the heck? So I had to deal with this dragon. I'll speed it up four times for you guys. So it took it took me quite a lot of troops to to beat this dragon, and it was it was terrible. Like as you, he's still alive, he's still alive. I'm like, go down, dragon. So then I sent in the giants at this point, and then I just dropped a whole ton of wall breakers. They did actually manage to blow up in that section. I didn't think they did, but they did. So that was awesome. Looks like those barbarians did get in the range of that wizard tower, which took them out quite quickly actually. So. Yeah, and then I just was able to send in some goblins, and they went right for that Dark Elixir storage, and got me all the loot. So again, there wasn't uh, too much Dark Elixir in there, uh, but, you know, it's okay. That's the way it is. So uh, there was actually a, quite a few more resources. I sent in the few more goblins that I had to go ahead and take out that Dark Elixir drill, but it didn't really end too well, because I'm like, oh, well, I guess that's the way it is. So, I mean, I still got 1,100 Dark Elixir, so I got 2,000 Dark Elixir within those two raids, which is awesome. And now I'm going to show you one more raid. This will be the last raid, and then I'll go ahead and upgrade the stuff. So, this raid I did before this. I don't know, I think this was still last night. I'm not incredibly sure. But it's basically an inactive base where I just went around and took out all the collectors. So I'll speed this up again two times. Uh, I did have to kind of take out the gold storage. Oh, you know what? I kind of, I kind of sort of remember how this raid went. So they took out the king. And barb kings, like I said in a few episodes ago, are extremely annoying. So yeah, uh, I've got to deal with that. <laughs> but I did manage to take out the barb king, and then I went for the gold mines as well. So then I put the archer, I put some few archers down and try to see what buildings I can get out of range. I put a giant there and dropped some goblins, which did actually work pretty well until the giants died, but I still was able to take out that gold mine. And then that elixir collector was out of range, and then at this point, I think what I did was I dropped down the barb king to get me the last of that elixir, and then I just ended the battle. No, wait, I put him down over there so he could go around and destroy a whole ton of buildings, which actually helped. But then he was stupid, and he went to the walls instead of the army camp. I mean, I don't know if that was incredibly stupid, but, I mean, it was kind of, sort of. So what happened here was, uh, at this point, I just had that last archer snipe that elixir collector, get me 50%, and then I surrendered and left with 225,000 gold and 228,000 elixir. So, again, guys, what we're going to do for the last part of this is we're going to go ahead and upgrade our spell factory, which is awesome. I did pack it full, three heal, heal spells, so that I won't run out, at least for quite some time. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. That's going to take five days, and it's going to unlock the jump spell. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to use the jump spell, but I do know the additional uh, two capacity. One one more spell is going to help us a lot. So there goes that. And the last upgrade that I'm super, super stoked about is the Archer Queen to level five. Again, four, plus four damage a second, 16 hit points, and two minutes on the regeneration, which sucks. But again we get to unlock the royal cloak. So, I'll see you in the next video, guys. She will be level 5, and I'll hopefully be able to use her in the raid. There we go. That's going down. And, yeah. So, that's going to be awesome. Guys, I, I will go ahead and upgrade the air defense and all that stuff. I'll keep it going up, because I've got to get that up so that I can work on the cooler upgrades, like the mortars and wizard towers and cannons and arch towers. So much stuff to do. 
so little time. I'm just kidding. We've got so much time on this Town Hall 9. Uh, yeah. With that said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. I would really appreciate it. So, um, last but not least, you know, stay tuned for the next episode. See you guys on the next episode. Peace out.